Okay, great. We're back and we are making waves at DefSec Atlantic. Yeah. I tell you, there is a lot of excitement in the room. There are some really, really large companies in the room. And there's a lot of uh, other companies here that are really interested in kind of getting to know some of those bigger players in the industry. And we are certainly excited to have one of those guys on with us today. I'm very happy to have Glenn Copeland on the Making Waves podcast. But Glenn, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Good morning, everyone. Yeah, I'm Glenn Copeland. I'm with Lockheed Martin Canada. I'm the business development director for the rotary and mission systems arm of Lockheed Martin. So we represent uh, all of our product line, which is largely predominantly Navy, uh, radar-based, and now helicopters as part of our program. We also do training systems. Um, we have underwater capability within our uh, within our line of business, and um, uh, a lot of the submarine opportunities, fire control systems, etc. So we're doing a lot of that work here in Canada. That's now. interesting. We're going on a submarine tomorrow, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to Victoria class tomorrow, but Glenn, tell us a little bit about you, man. Where are you from? What got you into this world? Okay. Originally from Niagara Falls, and I joined the Navy back in 1989, and uh, knew Al from pretty much day one, and uh, I, I spent a career for almost 23 years between that and a couple of years in the reserves on the backside, and then I left, and uh, I went to work for Lockheed Martin. Um, the opportunity came about when... I was had left the Navy as in fleet training, and before that, I was the t uh, tactical officer associated with teaching principal warfare officers in the ORO course. So I knew the training systems fairly well. And then Lockheed Martin had won the Halifax class modernization program in 2009, right? And so it was just kicking off, and they came to me and they said, "Listen, you know, we'd, we'd love to have you on board if you can if you can come help us." And at that point, it was ready to transition, and uh, I joined the company as a project manager. And so I worked on their training systems for, for a number of years. And then I just got to know the industry here in Halifax as a result of an opportunity that the company supported me for when I became the head of the Aerospace and Defense Association here back in, I think it was 2011, 2012. Right. And so the company thought that was great. And so they said, you know, we'd love to have you out there in the community. And one thing kind of led to another. And uh, I had a very good time with that group. And I got to know most of the local players here in Halifax. And from there, um, it was really an opportunity to kind of cement our business uh, within the region. Right. So, HCM was growing. Uh, we were having a, we were, you know, it was a difficult program at the start because it was just so much new. Um, but we, we started transitioning through that. Had a lot of good success. Training, uh, software development, product development, uh, a lot of good suppliers for us here, and we just became an anchor in the region. And as a result, um, we just got to know our partners here so well, whether it was government or whether it was industry or federal government, and uh, it just grew for us. And the opportunities kind of grew for me. And from there, the company asked me to uh, become the, the director for the business development arm for, for all of the business we do in Canada. It's not bad for a fellow from Niagara Falls, I can tell you that. <laughs> we're a Navy guy. We're a Navy guy from Niagara Falls. I think you're the first fellow right. I ever met from Niagara Falls that uh, joined the Navy. Right by the falls. Right, right by the falls. <laughs> uh, Glenn, you're one of those guys, you know, in the room that you seem to know everybody here. And, and I love the way you describe Lockheed Martin as an anchor here, right? And that's so true. We, we like to consider, I mean, we're, we've got three uh, major facilities in Canada. Obviously, our headquarters are in Ottawa. That's where a lot of our administrative is, and, and that's positioned next to the government. And we do have software development work there in production. But, but here in, in Halifax, it really is where things took off for us. It really took root because we were next to the customer. And the CMS 330, which is our anchor product, um, which is the command and control system on the Halifax class, the Arctic offshore patrol ships, the joint support ships, soon to be CSE, and, and a couple of international programs, were largely developed out of here with the talent that we got out of places like Dalhousie University. Right. And and, and the many universities around here, and UNB, et cetera. Right. So as a result of that, we just we became just a real center of gravity for us to develop that product and move out, and uh, we built the facility as part of Halifax class, and we've retained it. Great. A lot of excitement right now in the industry. I mean, it's uh, there's a lot of growth here, a lot of opportunities for people to be a part of it. I love, oh. uh, I love how you talk about the universities, and that connection between government, industry, and academia is vital. Would you agree? It, it, it's critical. Yeah. It's, it's, it's absolutely critical, and I think as we transition through this, and I remember back to the time when Nova Scotia was kind of was, was coming out, and, and at the same time, 2010, 2011, looking to understand what their future was, and it was it, they realized they were centered around ocean tech, and that was defense was a part of that. Yeah. And so they really put a lot of time and effort in as a, as a municipality and as a province, growing 
um, their technical base. You know, we benefited from that, so it was it was very mutual. Right. So you know, we trained them, and, and engineers, you know, you grow a, a young group, and then they become mid-level managers. Right. They, they have their kids here. They're fresh out of university, and yeah. I, I come back and see them now, and they've got yeah. you know, two or three kids in the family, and, right. and they're established. Right. Yeah. Um, so so that's that's worked well for us, and, and from that it feeds off, and I think all of the other industries have benefited as yeah. well here. You know, uh, Glenn, we had uh, Admiral Centarpi on yesterday, and he a used a, a good friend, right? And he used the term service when he described the industry partner. He said it again last night at the yes. gala event. He used the term service to say that the people that are in this room that may not be in uniform are serving our country. And that's you, Glenn. You've not left yeah. the service. I, I, I don't necessarily look at it that way all the time, but I do. you do feel when you take off the uniform, there's still a part of you that, that that's there, and you know that your friends are there. Yeah. And, and when you give back, or when you provide a product back, you want to go the extra mile. You right. want to give, you want to make sure that you haven't missed details. You yeah. want to make sure that you're happy to sit down and vet those requirements to the to the, the right. end detail, because yeah. you know these, these are the people that you know your whole life that are going to use the product you give them. Yeah. What do you think of that, Jerry? Here you've got an industry leader, multinational company like Lockheed Martin, using words like, I want to give back. Well, you know, it struck me. Uh, I wrote down the word kids. When you talked about families, like Alan and I talk a lot about this, what Lockheed Martin is doing for this community in giving opportunities and letting youth graduate from university and get employment, have families, like that's what this is all about. It is. It is. You're helping make this country better, you're providing service, you're serving the country, but you're doing something really special for the community and that is, is to be commended. So, Glenn, thank you. thank you for that. I really appreciate that. No, yeah. it's my pleasure. Well, what an absolute wonderful conversation, <laughs> Glenn. We really appreciate Good. it. I mean, uh, I referred to you uh, outside of the taping as the Seinfeld of the <laughs> Def Sec Atlantic show because your speech last night was, was brilliant. Okay. Was, your Good, timing was perfect and it was a nice way to uh, to have a gala event. Glenn, it's certainly great to be in conversation with you and my thank pleasure. you for what you're doing here in the economic growth of this country. Thank you. No, no, it's our pleasure. It's a great place and we're happy to be here. Thank you.